places, everyone. Roll camera. Cheer Entertainment One logo. GameSpin Enterprises. Started on April 22, 2016. Known for producing messing around with logos. From episode 1 on WGBH Austin. Up until episode 70 on ABC Entertainment. Red Art Productions. Started in October 2016. Known for producing CBS Television Studios logo bloopers. Up to late January 2017. What comes next, Redline Productions? Redline Productions. Started in late January 2017. Derived from the words, Redline, on the front of the Calgary Transit. Known for producing CBS Television Studios Logo Bloopers 16. And CET Connect Logo Bloopers Episodes 1 to 2. Green Line Productions. Started on St. Patrick's Day. What's next, Blue Line Productions? Next thing you know, they'll have Bright Light Productions. Bright Light Productions. Started on Easter 2017. Known for producing CET Connect Logan of Bloopers Episode 5. Until they were renamed Bright Light Pictures on April 22nd, 2017 as part of its first anniversary celebration. Next. Bright Light Pictures. Started in April 20 to 2017. Known for producing GameCube intro bloopers. As well as CBS Television Studios logo of bloopers 8 into 19. And CET Connect logo of blooper 6, 9. KMF Entertainment. Started on June 5, 2017. A joint venture between me, Jason and Greg. Known for producing its first logo histories with MJC Motion Graphics Channel, launched on June 7, 2017. I have no idea what the result of this is, but yeah. Anyway, next take. Cinemation Productions. Productions. What's next? Cinemation 1K Subscribers Anniversary. They'll have Cinemation Canada. We're not looking for this logo. Please try again. We're not looking for this logo either. Keep trying. Cut, print, we're done. We finally got the logo right.
So far, so good for a load of bloopers video like this one. Anyone want to go to Dairy Queen? All aboard the Rafflecopter. Swap.